Y'all been doing a good job. Y'all been doing a great job. I want to deal with the men real quick. What, what's your name, bro? Sean. No, sister, no, sister, don't leave now. I ain't saying leave now. Not at all. I'm just saying I want to deal with the men because guess what? The man got to get right. Am I right or wrong? I thought the man got to get right. The woman got to get right too, right? But we got to make sure we get the men right. So we want to deal with the brothers because who doing all the most of the killing? The men, right? So we want to deal with the men. Who, who is this, the backbone of the family supposed to be? It's Supposed to be the man. Let me prove that real quick. First Corinthians. Let me just show that real quick. My brother, real quick. What's your name, bro? Kevon? Nice to meet you, Kevon, bro. The water. You almost, my name almost close to yours, almost, so to speak, bro. And, 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 you know, my old name. But watch this read. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 1. Yeah. Be followers of me. Even as I also am of Christ. So this is what we got to do. We got to be followers of who? Read it again. Be ye followers of me. So Paul said, be ye followers of me. Come on. Even as I also am of Christ. He said, look, just like I follow Christ, I need y'all to follow me. I follow me, follow Christ, right? Now, what color is Christ? Because you got you got something on your neck. What color is Christ? Black. You sure about that? How you know that? Huh? You know? What color do you think Christ is? White. What color do you think Christ is? What color do you think he is? No color? What, what about you, bro? Mixed? Now, nah, see, we got to go to it. Now, nah, I can't leave. Yeah. It's too, why, let me ask you this. Why do we have different answers of what color Christ is? Now, watch this. How many of y'all go to church? How many of y'all been to church? So, now, nah, everybody been to church, but everybody got different answers on what color he look like? Some ain't right. You understand what I'm saying? The churches have failed us. That's what they have failed our communities. Being honest. Because they give us a white hope, a white Jesus that ain't in the Bible. Because somebody said white. Now let's see what color is. I'm going to let y'all tell me what color is as we read this. Read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The reveal. The revelation meaning the revealing of Jesus Christ. We're going to reveal to you what he looked like. Read. Which God gave unto him. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So wait a minute. His head and his hairs. Let's get over here. We finna have class today real quick. His what? His head. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So wait a minute. What people have woolly texture hair? There you go. So it said woolly. But then it said it was what color? His head and his hands were white like wool. So it was white like wool. Now, you know, we what do we, we call it gray hair, but what color is it? Because I got a little few screams. What, what did it look like? It's white. Same thing with Christ. Woolly hair, but he had a head full of gray hairs, what we call them. But it was white. You understand what I'm saying? Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes are a flame of fire. Why? Because when you drink, how many of y'all drink brown? Brown look. Don't be acting like that. I don't drink. I don't drink. Come on, now. You don't drink? Okay. What color are your eyes turn? Your eyes turn a little red. Your eyes turn red when you drink, right? Now watch this. Now you suppose he was drink Christ drunk wine in moderation. Because his first miracle, what did he do? Turn water into what? Wine. Now watch this. Read. And, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. So wait a minute. John looked down at like I'm looking at the sister's feet. John looked down at the sister's feet, right? What color are her toes? Oh, come on. I ain't talking about the toe there, bro. Come on, bro. Brown. Brown. Her toe, her, her, what color are her toes? Her feet. They're black. No. They what? No, they're not. Your, your pants is what color? Oh, they're brown. Okay, they're brown, right? Am I right? All right. His feet was brown. Right. Watch, Christ. Watch this again. Read it again. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine bread. So fine bread, does anybody know what color fine bread is? Somebody give me a penny real quick. Go give me an image of burnt bread real quick. I need that image. Somebody Google that real quick. Give me a color there. Because I want to make sure we make this plain to the brothers and sisters uh, what color Christ is. Now watch this. Because I don't want y'all to leave thinking Christ don't have no color. Christ is white. You said he was black. Now watch this. Perfect example right here. It said, read it again. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. So I'm going to use this first one. It's fine brass. This fine brass is brown, right? Is it not? It's a brown color. Watch this. What up? As if they burned in a furnace. When you burn it, it get what color? 
Dark brown. Dark brown. You know what I'm saying? Willie, you touch your hair. What we got right here? Yeah, pass that around. Pass that around. That what? That's the color of burnt brass or when it's polished brass. Right. Meaning he's a dark skin brother. Yes, right. You know what I'm saying? The greatest man to walk the face of the earth. Black like us. We say black. Black like us. You know what I'm saying? Read it again. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Why? Because he got a deep voice, a loud voice that travel. Right. You understand what I'm saying? The why they say black folks loud. We just got a natural, we loud. Right. Right. Read, that's it. Now, get King Solomon. I want to show, I'm going to touch some color real quick. I got to let y'all know that this is us in this Bible. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And then I'm going to get the curses to show you that it fits us to let you know that we are God's chosen people. You understand what I'm saying? We got to know that we more than just niggas. We got to know we more than just, bro. How many gangs around here in Chicago? Hard to count. Hard to count. You feel me? A lot of them, right? Why do you think that? It's gang members, right? You know why? Because we don't know the value of it. I said, hold on, bro, before you leave. Hold on before you leave, bro. I know you finna slide, but I want to deal with you, bro. Because you're going to make a difference in this world. You understand what I'm saying? Right. It's up to us to make a difference in this world as men. That's our job as men to make a difference on this planet. Look around, bro. Look at all your brothers around you right now. Right. But only if you can see in the spiritual world and see how many angels around us, bro, you won't want to leave. You understand what I'm saying? Because you got some around your neck, but, you know, that's going into a another religion, right. you know what I'm saying? We trying to give you what you really want. You just got that image on your neck, but bro, we finna give you what you need. Right. Watch the read you got. The book of Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. I am black, but comely. So Solomon is saying he is what? I am black, but comely. Don't y'all know Solomon was one of the wisest men to walk the face of the earth besides Christ? He was the wisest man to walk, the fa walk on this earth. King Solomon was in what color? I am black. But comely. Solomon said, I'm black, but comely, meaning handsome. You understand what I'm saying? This, is that not us? Black and comely. But let me ask you this. Nobody never taught us that, though. Nobody never taught us King Solomon was a black man. Nobody ever taught us Christ was a black man like us. If That's Christ right. was alive today, he would be a so-called African-American. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nobody taught us that. The churches ain't teach us that. The churches taught us that Christ was a white man. Right. Blonde right. hair and blue eyes. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now that means we're not God's chosen people because we think the Jewish people are God's chosen people. Right. Not knowing we are the real Jews this whole time. Right. We God's chosen people. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But we don't know that because they ain't teaching us that. And that's why we end up falling to gangs. Because a young man grow up, he have no, he have no vision. Right. He have no leaders to look up to. Right. So guess what? He gonna do whatever his environment doing. Right. If his environment's BD, he's gonna be a BD. If it's environment GDs, he's going to follow the GD. If right. it's environment on the west side, vice lords, he's going to be vice lords. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happened in our community. That's what happened in our cities, no matter where you go. That's what we're here to do. We're here to change that. That's we're here right. to put the man back where he's supposed to be, the woman back where he's supposed to be, to put the black family back together. Right. Because we're broken. Are we not a broken people? Very broken. How many countless murders? Give me Isaiah 50 on uh, 9 one let's show, you, let's show you what's going to fix that and hear that. We here to get a solution, but it's up to us to want to listen and want to grab it and get it and apply it. That's now watch this, read what you got. The book of Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. God said, look, my hand ain't short that it can't save Oh, block The brothers and sisters that live in Chicago, the brothers and sisters that live in Miami, New York, wherever it's at, wherever we at. He said, look, my hand ain't too short to grab you. But watch this, read. Behold, the, Lord, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his, his ear heavy that it cannot hear. He, he said, look, my ear ain't clogged up while I don't hear what's going on. I hear the crying, the screaming, the mourning. Somebody crying all night because their baby just got gunned down. I hear that. But he said, my hand ain't too short to say that. But what? Read. Verse 2. But your iniquities. But what? But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. But our sins. Because we want to be in the gang now. So now out. we got to do a lick. Right. We got to do a drill. Right. You understand what I'm saying? That's going to separate us. Now I'm going to be a whore monk. So I'm going to lay with this sister to get her pregnant. You know, that's one baby mama. Go over here hit another girl. That's baby mama because what? I'm, I'm fornicating. You understand what I'm saying? You got a brother stealing. You got all these different sins going on. God looking down like, how can I save you when y'all, everybody want to just be wicked? Nobody want to love me. Right. Everybody want to claim that they love me with their mouth, but when it's time to do what I tell them to do, everybody disregard. Right. Right. Read it again. Verse 2. 
But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Come on. And your sins have hid his face from you. Come on. That he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood. What is, what is, what is going on in Chicago? It's a murder spirit here in Chicago. It it's an anger spirit here in Chicago. Right, somebody, just, somebody can pause right here for one second. Somebody gonna come up behind me and blow the horn. Like, get that, get, nigga, get the hell out of my way. The brother just paused for one second. It just, it's, everything is full of hatred. It's a hatred, murder spirit here, but we need men here to help change this community. That's right. Not only the community, but help change the nation. Right. Because we God chose the people. Right. We got to stand up and let our people know, look, you a king, my brother. Right. You a princess, my sister. Right. Put the drugs down, my brother. Put the gun down, my brother. Right. Come serve God. Put the gangs down. You understand know what I'm saying? Put that flag down. You think you you want to know how many brothers was in the gangs around here? Right. There's a lot. You see BDs in here. You see vice lords in here. Right. You see blood crips in here. Right. Because we once was y'all. Titus three and three. Bring it out. Ain't, God ain't gonna send nobody that don't know what's going on on the block right. to the block. Right. You understand know what I'm saying? Now watch this. Now we, ain't no telling what's going on with that. Watch this. Let's let that pass by. Read what you got. The book of Titus chapter three and verse three. Bring it out. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. We ourselves sometimes too, bro, was a, a BD or GD vice lord, folk, folk on the hustler. Right. We ourselves too once was in those games, you feel me? Right. But what happened now, Reed? For we, are, for we ourselves also was sometimes foolish. Disobedient? We were disobedient. We didn't want to hear nothing about no Bible. We didn't want to hear nothing about no God. Right. But it's going to come a time that you're going to need God, bro. Right. Uh, now, let me prove that. Give me uh, Proverbs 1. Because I don't want you to leave, bro. What you got going on? I promise you ain't this more important, right? Ah, this word, right? right, right. I, I, I bet you that. That's bro, you know how many angels? You look down the street, bro. Just look down the street, bro. Look at all these men lined up out here for you. For you. For you, sister. For you, sister. We come from various cities. Wait, we got brothers from Florida. We got brothers from uh, uh, New York. We got brothers from all over the state because we love our... Huh? We got brothers from Canada. You know why? Because we love, we love and care for our people so much. We gonna go exactly where the what? You show us the worst part of any city we gonna pull up. You know why? Because we love our brothers and sisters. We put our lives on the line just to save a life. You understand what I'm saying? That's our job as prophets. Now watch this. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttered her voice in the streets. So right now, wisdom, we, we the wisdom that's uttering the voice in the street, meaning, bro, we're telling you, you're an Israelite. You're a princess, my sister. Right. You're special to God. You're right. royal to, to God. Right. You understand what I'm saying? We're giving our people the hope that's been deferred. That's right. Now watch this, read. Verse 21. She crying in the chief place of Concord. We right here in the chief place of Concord where ah. our people in and out. Right. Throughout the city. Read. Right. In the openings of the gates. Right here where the gates said in the old block. Read. Right. In the city, she uttered her words. We right here in the heart of Chicago. In the city. Come from various different cities to give our people that pure water that they need according to the Bible. Right. 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 Read. In the city, she uttered her words saying, how long ye simple ones? God said, how long we going to be simple? How long we going to act like he don't exist? How long we not going to do what he say do? Bring it out. How long we going to be simple minded? How long are we gonna think that we are uh, BD? Man, God gave us this whole planet to rule. That's right. Not just a block. God gave us this whole planet for us. Right. Yes, He created this for us, the black man. But we don't know that. Right. You know why? Because when we went in them chains, we went in slavery. The white man erased that. Right. He put in us what he wanted us to put in put in us. You understand know what I'm saying? Now he divide us, divide and conquer tactic because we don't know we the kings and gods of the earth. Right. Breathe. How long these simple ones? Will you love simplicity? Watch this. And the scorners delight in the scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. God said, turn, sister, at his reproof. It's correction. Bro, right. this ain't, you ain't gonna how to see this ever in life. Right. You know this something different, bro. Right. You didn't know how old are you? 29, bro, you out of your years, you know you ain't seen nothing like this, bro. Bring it out. That's because the Lord care about his people. He care about you enough to send his prophets here to let you know what's going on with you, that you're a king of this earth, that you must repent, bro. Right. Right. It ain't worth it. The streets ain't worth it, bro. Right. The jail right. time ain't worth it. The, the, the funerals back to back ain't worth it. Right. You understand know what I'm saying? The ducking and dodging ops ain't worth it. Right. That ain't worth, bro. That ain't life, bro. That's death. Yeah. Right. We want right. to give you life, bro. Right. Where's what you got? How long is simple ones will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Come on. Turn you at my reproof. So turn 
to at these reproofs. You see these mighty men from everywhere. And we got sisters. They just not with us right now because we at war. But our sisters, you know, we, we, most of us married. How do y'all men married? Raise your hand. Look at this. Look at this right here. You don't see this in the community. You understand what I'm saying? But guess what? We married. Right. With, with our wife and kids taking care of our family. Right. That's missing in the community. Right. That's missing in Chicago. Right. But we here to let you know, look, it ain't missing no more because we're going to bring it to you. This right here is going to fix it, just like you it fixed us. What's going on, my big dog? Hey, what we're going over is how we're going to fix ourselves and fix our community, which yeah. fix our nation. And show right. you that you're a king on this earth, you're a God on this earth. And the, and the earth for you to rule. We understand when Christ come back, we gonna rule. We ain't gonna be at the bottom no more. We ain't gotta worry about no more crying, no more tears, no none of that. You understand what I'm saying? Let's prove that real quick. I'm jumping back. I'm jumping out old place. Give me revelation. I just gotta prove. Cause I'm tired of crying. Ain't you tired of crying? Right. I'm tired of being at the bottom. I'm tired of bad at making ends meet. Job to job. This and that. Revelation 21 and four, something like that. Read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 4. Yeah. And God shall wipe away all tears. What God going to do for his people? And God shall wipe away all tears. All these gunshots, all these murders. Right. All these dead bodies that, that we the witness in this city. Right. Ain't going to be no more death. Ain't going to be no more crying in Chicago. Right. 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 And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. Neither sorrow. Ain't no more death. Ain't no more sorrow because a little 12-year-old got popped on the block yes, by right. somebody just spraying ig ignorantly, yeah, shooting boy. at somebody else and killed the little girl or killed the little boy. Ain't going to be no more of that crying. Right. Read. Neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Ain't no more pain. Ain't no more pain and none of that going on no more. When we get ourselves, that's why we out here now pleading the cost, pleading the case for our people to repent. That's come right. back to God. Not no Christianity church, but come back to who you are being the Israelite who God right. called you from the beginning. Yes. Right. And that you must keep his commandments. Watch this. I'm going to go back and see with that. Now, I got to get, I got to bring, I'm going to show you how we're going to get there. Isaiah 14. I'm sorry, I got to bring that out. Because it said no more death, no more crying. The reason why we're crying because we're being oppressed right now. Right. Right. We Y'all don't understand the powers that be oppressed the hell out of, out of us. Right. And we uh, turn enemy against one another. Right. Right. Because we don't know, we don't know, we don't know that these white folks, the devil, right. that the Bible right. speaker, they the deceivers of the earth. Right. They took our God and say God look like them. Right. Right. They took our nationality and say they are us. Right. You understand know what I'm saying? They lied. That's right. So once they took that away from us, then we just live like however they program us. Like 4th of July, y'all celebrate the 4th of July? Be honest. You really, you really, you really didn't, but you did a little bit. But my thing is, why do we even celebrate the 4th of July as a whole as black people? Why? 1776, we were still picking cotton. Right. We weren't free. They didn't our independence. They don't give a damn about our independence, they. We still not free. You understand what I'm saying? So we, were, we celebrating another white man getting free from another white man. Right. That's what we celebrate. Yay, master! Woo! Y'all got, y'all got free. So y'all got free, but y'all kept us enslaved. Right. Right. Come on, man. Watch this. Read the book of Isaiah, chapter fourteen and verse one. Bring it For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel. So that's what we tell you. You are an Israelite. He said he's gonna choose us, even though we hard-headed, stiff-necked, rebellious, and all that. But those that repent and come out and come back to Him, know that you're an Israelite, and know that you must keep God's commandments. That's the whole world is for you. Right. Watch this read. And will yet choose Israel. He going to choose us. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Watch out. Let the sister see the sign. Because I don't even think I even let y'all see what um, tribe y'all from. Everything on the left is what God called us in the Bible. What tribe we from. Everything on the right is what the slave master called us. The slave master said we are uh, American blacks. which changed so many times. They said we were Negro, color, black, all that. Then you got West Indies, which is we're going to Jamaica, Trinidad, right? Then you got uh, Puerto Rico, but that's what they called us. This is what the slave master called us because they conquered us. But everything on the left is what God called us. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is what tribe we come from. Because have you ever wondered, like, I wonder what tribe I come from? I wonder, you know, in Africa, I wonder what, what tribe I come from. This is what tribe you come from. Right. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh. Right. So now everything on the left, according to your daddy, what tribe would you be from? Huh, Judah, what about you? Judah, so y'all guess what? Christ, Christ would be a so-called uh, African American today. Right. If he was alive, he'd been a so-called African American. Right. Now watch this read. So just showing you that point. I want to finish this, then we're gonna get into that. Read. 
For the Lord, for the Lord would have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. All them tribes he just went through, right? Judah, Benjamin, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Manasseh, all these tribes, right? Twelve tribes, read. Right? And sent them in their own land. Sister, are we in our own land today? Brother, are we in our own land? Brother, are we in our own land today? Let you know he's talking about us. Because everybody, that's got their own land. The China man got his own land. The Arab man got his own land. You understand what I'm saying? Huh? We ain't got our own land. So they let you know we are the Israelites. Yes, now watch this, read. Verse 5. Isaiah 14, verse 5. The Lord has broken it. No, no, no. Hey, I don't know where I was. Verse 1. Verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and we yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers going into the other nations going to join us. Let's see how they're going to be joining us. Is they going to be joining us to get the same benefits that we got? Or are they going to have a job to do? That's right. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So they're going to cleave unto us. The other nations, that's not 12 tribes. That's not of not, not Israel descent. Read. And the people shall take them. So we're going to take them and what's going to happen? And bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. So what? Hold up. So these are the nations. Who, who made America great? Or who built America? Bring it out. We did. Right. We built this place up. You understand what I'm saying? So guess what? They're going to have to build our kingdom up. Because we always say God is a just God. Ain't God is a just God. So God is just enough to let them work for us. You understand what I'm saying? And we're going to sit back, kicked up. We ain't never working again. You feel me? I'm tired of You ain't tired of working? Hell, I'm you, bro, you work. You work. Bro, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this kingdom. Right. You feel me? I don't want to cry no more, no more pain. Right. The world belongs to us. Right. You, this world is over with, bro. You can't think about it. If you want to stay in this world, that's a dumb decision to do. Right. This world ain't, it ain't offer you nothing no way. Right. It ain't offering a black man nothing no way but to be a murderer or a killer. Now, if you're going to do that and do that, if you're going to rap about killing somebody that's 50 times in a song, they'll pay you min uh, millions for that. Right. You feel me? But if you're going to stand on God's word, they don't want to hear you. They don't want, they don't want nothing to do with you on that. Bring it out. If you say you're an Israelite, like you remember uh, Kyrie, he was just trying to say, look, watch this uh, movie. Not was it the book? No, uh, documentary. documentary. Watch this documentary, and they damn find him up millions of dollars. Uh, you feel me? But then you got your boy uh, down there in Memphis. What's his name? John Moran. John, John Wilding the hell out, pistols and all that. Nike ain't drop, drop his contract. Why not? Right. Why Nike drop Kyrie's contract? Cause, cause, nah, cause he was telling you that you God told you. Yeah. He was telling you like Christ is black. He don't want y'all. The world don't want you to understand who you are. Right, so they right. say, oh hell no. We don't care how much money we gotta um lose, but we gonna cut this program right now. Right. Right. You feel me? That's how much. That's how much they trying to block you to let you know who you are. But look how much we trying to let you know who you are when we travel from different states to come here and let our brothers and sisters know that they the kings and they the gods of the earth yes, and they the right. princesses of the earth right. and you're going to rule when Christ come back. Right. Black Messiah. Yes, right. Right. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors. We're going to rule over our oppressors. Give me that sign real quick. Let's show you who the oppressors were just in case we don't know. Bring it out. I want to make everything plain. Somebody hold it for me. Because they said we're going to rule over our oppressors. Who been oppressing us in this land? Bring it out. Bring it out. Huh? The white folks. They, they been oppressing us in this land. Over two, three hundred years of free labor. Right. Hell, anybody can come up. I can come up off you if you work for me one year of free labor. Right. You think I can't come up? Well, how about 250 years plus? And then when we get out, they still got traps. You feel what I'm saying? They, ain't, they still got traps. Talking about some sharecropping. When I can, I can still be doing my thing on sharecropping. And then you talking about, oh. Well, you know, it was a bad year this year. What the hell you mean it was a bad year this year? Well, you still owe me money. So either way it go, you still was losing. Right. Even in shut cropping all these things, it's always a trap. But watch this. Read that again. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Now hold it. Let's, let's make the oppressors plain. Deuteronomy 26 day. Let's make the oppressors plain. How did we get over here to this side of the world? What did you say? So now. Y'all know that, right? That's it. That happened. Let's read it out the Bible. Did y'all know that was in the Bible? Bring it out. Yeah. Now watch this. Read what you got. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again with ships. What's going on, bro? What we going on right now? You just walked up on the perfect time, my brother. The perfect time to let you know who you are according to the Bible. But right now, this particular moment, this scripture we're going into now, is showing you how our ancestors got to this side of the world. Do you know? No, sir. You don't know? We're going over it right now. Watch this video again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He said, bring us into Egypt again with ships. How many of y'all are familiar with what went down in Egypt the first time? What happened in Egypt? I don't know. I'm going to say it. I don't know. Okay, okay. That's fine, my brother. Okay, yes, Watch it. What, what happened in Egypt, sir? Being under Pharaoh. What, what Pharaoh was doing to what nation of people? There you go, oppressing the Israelites. So you, you agree with that? You're right, sister. Pharaoh, them, the Egyptians was oppressing the Israelites. You understand what I'm saying? So they was in bondage. Let's just let's get a preview of that. Exodus 1. You already on it? Read what you got. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Yeah. I am the Lord thy God, which shall brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So we was in the house of bondage or slavery. We was in this right here in Egypt. We was the ones building up Egypt. We didn't want to build the pyramids. They trying to figure out who did. We did it. That's right. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans built the pyramids. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Watch this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Or oh, slavery, again. Pay attention, bro. That text gonna be there. Bring you, hey, bro. Pay attention, bro. Pay attention, pay attention. Yes, hold on. Okay, okay. I said, read. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Again, with ships. With what? With ships. So wait a minute. Huh? Warships. Huh? Warships. No, I'm listening. I'm listening. Oh. That's why I want you to pay attention. You said, all right, well, I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. What's your name, bro? My name is Terrence. Please school me. Terrence, I got you, bro. I got you. Please school me. We're going to go over it again. Now read it again. And the Lord shall bring. That's what we're here for, bro. We here. This is what we're here for, bro. The Lord. Watch this. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Egypt is. But what does Egypt mean? Please school me. No, but I don't know. What does Egypt mean? Yes, ma'am. Bondage or slavery. That's what it means. So the Lord's going to bring us back into slavery again because remember the first time Moses delivered us, uh, delivered the children of Israel from under the Pharaoh's bondage. You understand what I'm saying? So now the Lord said, look, I'm going to bring y'all back into slavery again, but this time y'all going to go by what? What? Ships. Look at these ships right here. Show this to the sisters. So you see this ship? These was cargo slave ship. Was used to be to um, transport cargo, but they said, hell with the cargo, we're gonna make you Negroes the cargo. Right. right. We're gonna right. put you on the bottom of the ship for years on top of years on top of years on top of years. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands for years upon years. Teach this is what you see. Teach you got brothers shopping to each God. other. You got brothers gotta use the bathroom on each other. Sisters probably having babies right there. Because guess what? When they catch us, you know, sisters pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Sisters on cycles just gotta paint the picture to make it real. People gotta use the bathroom. They're not gonna like, hey, can you let I gotta use the bathroom? Will you let me out? You think they let you out to use the bathroom? No, no, no. Think about all that. The feces on each other. The 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 baby, somebody having a baby chained up. Think about if there was you on the ship, on the on the bottom of the ship, cargo with chains on, and you pregnant, finna have a baby. Right. You changed up. Nobody can really help you. Nobody, your, your, your sister next to you can't help you because they separated us. They didn't want to have the men with the women together. They separated us. But they separated women, men, and boys, right? Yes. They separated us. So now you on there by yourself got to have a baby. Look at all these atrocities. Look how many probably babies died of miscarriage because they got pushed down on the on face down on the bottom of the damn cargo ship. Right. See, we don't think about these things, but these things happen to us. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with 
Roll Punk.